Southern Gothic is a podcast that explores the history behind the American South's darkest days, greatest mysteries, and most chilling ghost stories. But today, we aren't hitting the history books. We're going to go down to the campfire for our annual Halloween tradition of 13 spooky tales over the course of 13 nights. Okay, y'all, if you've listened to enough episodes of Southern Gothic, you probably know I am a big fan of cemeteries, right? Even without tales of the supernatural or the paranormal, these places are quite literally filled to the brim with lifetime upon lifetime of stories. And that kind of stuff just fascinates me. Not to mention a lot of times cemeteries are just awful pretty, aren't they? Well, just recently, I found a picture of this one really unique monument out in West Virginia, and I knew right away that there had to be some kind of story behind it. And guess what? After a little bit of digging, it was not hard to find that local lore did not let me down. It's a statue known lovingly to the folks of Parkersburg, West Virginia, as the Weeping Woman. The Riverview Cemetery is not only one of the most beautiful, but also one of the most historic cemeteries in the state of West Virginia. It was originally called the Cook Family Cemetery, since it was located on the Cook's farm, and the first burial there was in 1801. But the burying ground now covers two and a half acres of land in Parkersburg, West Virginia. And over the last two centuries, it has become home to over 1,000 people including governors, congressmen, Confederate senators, and even relatives of the infamous Confederate general, Stonewall Jackson. Now, if you visit, there are shaded paths through the cemetery that weave through a number of unique 19th century tombstones. It's the perfect place for a nice stroll. But as I mentioned, most people come to see this one tomb in particular, that monument known as the Weeping Woman of West Virginia. The melancholic tombstone depicts a veil-draped female figure sprawled out over a large headstone. Her head is buried in one arm, as if she's grieving, and the other holds a scroll that extends out over the front of the monument, bearing the words, In the silence and to thee, followed by the name, Jackson. The Weeping Woman has resided here at Riverview, overlooking the Jackson family for well over a century. And as a result, it certainly looks as such. But if you happen to visit, you might notice that some of the locals have started using it as a bit of an altar, leaving this grieving lady gifts of all sorts, heartfelt tokens of appreciation, like flowers and coins and even small bottles of wine. You see, The folks in Parkersburg believe that the weeping woman will grant wishes to those who approach her with pure intentions. And according to legend, she has this unique ability to bless women with pregnancies within a year of touching her. However, one must approach her with respect and goodwill, as she can be quite unforgiving to those who don't. The weeping woman is notorious for pushing back against those who don't deserve her gifts, people who act selfishly in their desires and come to her anyway. It's said that sometimes she will trip them as they walk away. She pulls their hair or even tugs at their clothing. Because of all of this, she's become like a godmother to this West Virginia community. Of course, I bet y'all know what's coming next, right? Granting those wishes certainly is not the creepiest thing here. This statue is so lifelike that it is said that every so often, the weeping woman decides to move. Some claim it happens on a full moon, and others that it's on the anniversary of her family members' deaths. But it isn't when that makes it so spooky. It's that she actually does. It's said that the weeping woman meanders through this old graveyard wandering those paths and grieving after all of those years there 
and Riverview. Whether this is true or not is obviously up to visitors to find out for themselves. But the legend of the weeping woman of West Virginia has become so infamous that the cemetery is no longer accessible at night. Too many people were coming to see if they could catch her on one of her evening strolls. But if you do happen to head up there to Parkersburg to visit her during daylight hours, make sure you bring more than just a little token of appreciation. You better bring some goodwill, because somehow, some way, she will know what you're carrying in your heart. Southern Gothic is an independent podcast produced by siblings Brianne and Brandon Schecksneider. And this mini episode was part of our annual Campfire Stories, a series to get you in the spirit for Halloween. We'll be back with an all new full length episode on October 31st. So y'all stick around if you dare. <laughs>